Hey, this is Sam Black with my first match of this uh, Triple Mirrodin draft. Um, I'm on the draw, and I have a cheap creature and a longbow, um, and a couple of lands, so I'm happy. I'm going to keep this. lead with my creature, of course. We have a, an equipment lined up for this Rustbore Ram. Um, let's see, I'm not going to cycle this Chromatic Sphere because I want to use it to cast Sombra Hover Guard. Um, this thing's probably going to get equipped and attack me, so I might as well attack first. If I draw a land, I can cast Sombra Hoverguard. This card is pretty good. I can deal with the equipment, I can eventually hunt it down with the longbow, but it does get in the way. If this attacks and I draw land, I can just equip and kill this thing, so my opponent's kind of obligated to sit, which is good. Um, now I'm torn, because equipping is great. But getting the Sombra Hover Guard in play is also pretty nice. I think if my opponent had a removal spell, uh, Electrostatic Bolt, then my opponent would have attacked. So I don't think I'll get blown out if I equip the Longbow. I think I want to do that. Now I can pass and I can shoot at end of turn and then untap and shoot again. Or shoot at end of turn, untap, draw land, rust bar, ram the scimitar and kill this thing, which would be ideal. take one, because if I try to shoot it, I'll take three. And now we get to see why I love Longbow so much. That was not a very high impact blinding beam. Okay, well, that was effortless. Um, looks like my opponent's trying to be aggressive, which makes me wonder if I want something like the Leonine Elder. Um, React Transfixer didn't seem great. I'll try the Elder over it. Could also see whale in him here, but uh, it's double black to entwine, and I don't want to kill my own guys with it. Uh, I will keep again, mostly on the back of Viridian Longbow. Plus, just 
no reason to mulligan. My hand is a good mix of things. I even have double blue for this thing. That's exciting. I actually just have really good mana this hand. Oh, I forgot to play the longbow because I was talking about other stuff. That's really stupid. Hopefully my opponent doesn't play a one-toughness creature here and really embarrass me. Alright, not a one-toughness creature. But if the longbow isn't play, I'd be able to irradiate it, so... Pretty horrible mistake. Talisman. If I play the Talisman, I can Looming Hover Guard next turn. It's kind of appealing. But getting along the equipped is pretty good. Combat damage. Yeah, okay. But I can just go land, talisman, I should have played the planes so that I could discard the island because I don't need triple blue. Discard the Nimrod replica. I don't want to miss land drops here, and I don't think I need the Nimrod replica. And my hand is absurd, uh, particularly since Looming Hover Guard plus Crystal Shard is just a lock. Um, like, I can just loop bouncing this and putting an artifact on top of my opponent's deck and never let my opponent draw a new card. Uh, I can also Crystal Shard this thing, which is also absurd. Or I could Crystal Shard this thing and get in with this. My options are great. There are too many good options. I think I want to use the mask. Pretty hard to imagine losing from this spot. My opponent is land late against Crystal Shard, which is a massive problem by itself, to say nothing of the several other things that make it impossible for my opponent to win that are going on. Shard. 
this on top of the deck. So, my opponent needs a removal spell to eliminate what is very, very close to a hard lock here. I'm losing a bit of life, but I have this thing to help make up for it. as you might want, unless you have a removal spell. I will not pay. That doesn't get you anywhere. some of my opponent creatures here if I wanted, but no reason to break my own loop. Oh, very clever. I guess I should have bounced my opponent's creature. different ways I could do this. I think I just crystal shard this. Move the mask of memory to this. with both of these. Discard this because it's clunky. Play this, which gets me the triple white for this thing. Kill this. Kill this. And play this. Good turn. So... 
Let's just play this unbeatable card. My opponent saw the writing on the walls there. I now established unlimited blockers with this thing. And I could also block and loop this thing, make extra guys here, lock out those artifacts, skipping draw steps. If my opponent kept playing them, my opponent would never get to draw again. If my opponent didn't, my opponent would still have to wait two turns and then never be able to have an artifact in play. Um, to say nothing of the value that I'd be generating with the other equipment that I had. So, um, that is the, well, many parts of the machine of inevitability that I have crafted here. Um, so I'm now feeling quite good about this deck.